Welcome back guys. Today we will learn how to implement a procedural circuit generation script. So let's start straight away. We explained how to generate a plane in the last video. So now we're pretty much done because everything is set it up to generate a circle, a procedural circle. It's really easy and straightforward. So that's basically our script generate circle and we're using all the functions that we had in the previous videos but then we use an additional function that is called generate circle what does that function is used for actually as you can see the function is really easy we are basically getting the vertices all the vertices of the old mesh of the old plane and then we normalize it we also generate the normals because are really easy in this case in this particular case and then we are basically done with the circle but why does this work? If we consider all the vertices of a plane, of a high resolution plane with an equal distance from an origin that is a local 0, 0, 0, a local vector 3, 0, we can normalize these vectors. Normalize means getting a vector of magnitude 1, so of length 1. Basically, we are saying that all these vectors that were creating a plane now needs to be far from the center of at maximum one unit so this is a unit sphere so how do we generate a circle i'm generating right now and as you can see a low resolution circle with the resolution of one appears like that we're basically rendering many triangles in order to give to a plane the shape of a circle but what happened if we increase the resolution actually we will see an high resolution to the borders that gives us if we deactivate the wireframe that gives us a perfect circle we can use this circle for ui purposes like placing inside it a circle avatar or these kind of things but it's also used for i don't know many many games and also for a possible playground a possible circle playground and actually you can see that the plane and the circle are not visible from the back face in the back faces because there is the back face calling occurring right now so you can also customize this by implementing a size function you can basically go to the script and multiply the new vertices by a parameter size that I did not specify in there and you can basically obtain the same thing that we obtained with the plane. That's basically all for today. I hoped you enjoyed this short video and up until next time, cheers. <laughs>